Good evening, good evening, good evening, Virgos. How y'all doing tonight? It's Friday, September 15th, and we back in the building. I keep on coming back because y'all keep on showing up. Y'all keep on coming back. I'm going to keep on showing up. You see how that equal give and take go? I hope y'all had a beautiful day. I had a phenomenal day. It's Friday, so I'm so happy it's the time that, you know, we can wind down from school and our day-to-day -day tasks from during the week, and, and here we are meeting again. I hope y'all had a great, great day. I do. I had an awesome day. Um, let me see if I can get this lighting to be right tonight. Man, we're going to get it right one of these good times, all right? You know how we do. Let's go ahead and get into prayer. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this gratitude. So, Heavenly Father, Ascended Masters, Ancestors, Father God, Mother God, Creator of all, Universe, we just ask that you continue guiding us and leading us on our destined path. And you will provide us all of the guidance and wisdom that we need along the way. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Ashe. Let's get into it. You know, we start off with this gratitude. Let's see what gratitude got to show us tonight. Ooh, we need to improve with gratitude tonight. We talking about practice? We talking about gratitude. We talking about gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude. We talking about gratitude. Spirit got to show us what we need to see concerning gratitude. And we got one out here. Enjoy the little things. For one day you may look back and realize they were big things. What little things happened today that you can be grateful for? How and why did they impact your day? We had this one before. Let's see if we can't get another one. Because I know they got buku cards in this deck. And it's like, when are we going to get some new ones? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Here we go. There is freedom. Oh, we got two. That's two. There is freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? Think of three things you did this year that you are proud of. Honor the effort it took. Isn't that beautiful? We can't complain because rose bushes have thorns or rejoice because those thorns are roses. Think about some recent thorns you've encountered. What are the roses attached to them? All right. Here's the next one. When we try to pick out anything by itself, we find a hitch to, the, to everything else in the universe. Think of your very favorite place on earth. Close your eyes and imagine you are there. Take a moment to relax and appreciate how this feels. Wow. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get into this shadow work. See what we need to improve in this shadow work. Why don't we? Let's delve in. Let's dive in tonight. I hope y'all had a good day, man. I had a phenomenal day, you know. That's my claim to fame. Universe, what can we improve in the shadow work? Show us, spirit. Show us what we can do to improve in the shadow work. Show us. Show us how we can improve with the shadow work, spirit. Show us. You know what? Let me get some. All right, there we go. That's what we need to see, Spirit. All right, we're going to take all these. We're going to take them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we have alchemy. Alchemy. Transform the lead 
of your shadow into gold. Alchemy. The shadow. Confront the shadow as a collective concept. Enabling. Acknowledge behaviors that enable negative patterns. Meditation. Use meditation for deep shadow work. What kind of meditation regimen you have? We're going to do some videos on meditation, like, you know, and just go through a list of different meditations and how effective they can be. I know for me, yoga nidra is when you lay down like a corpse. My mentor taught me this one. And you go through every part of your body, just releasing and, and acknowledging. Oh, my goodness. It's very transformative. I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind. So we're going to do some meditations. Um, the next one is shame. Address deeply rooted feelings of shame. Maybe it's some things that you're not too proud of that you did in the past. And it's okay. Like, we all got a past. If somebody tell you that they don't have no past and they ain't never did nothing, they lying. They lying. For sure, for sure, they lying. Don't trust nobody like that. Because ain't nobody here perfect. Put your faith in yourself, not in nobody else. Looking for somebody to save you. Ain't nobody coming. They ain't coming. I'm sorry to tell you. Save yourself. Spirit, God, show us what we need to see tonight. What, what's the energy tonight? Spirit, show us what we need to see. That's two minutes, so we're going to put them back. Spirit, show us what we need to see. They're coming out two at a time. Come on. Spirit, show us what we need to see. All right, so we got the two of wands out first. Spirit, show us what we need to see. All right, we got the page of wands. All right, it's a lot of emotions out here. A lot of, you know, whew, yes, indeed, yes, indeed. It's a lot of creativity out here. Yeah, I'm talking about emotion. A lot of creativity out here. All right, let's see. So we got the King of Cups. That go to emotions. We got the hermit. Okay. Still got to show us what we need to see. So there's a lot of creativity out here. And here we go. We got the four wines out here too. So okay. You feeling inspired. All right, Virgo. Let's go. Still got to show us what we need to see. Boy, these cards keep falling. All right. Let me put that back. It's just bad. I'm going to leave it alone, y'all. All right. Let's see. Spirit guy, show us what we need to see tonight. Did that one count? Yep. I'm going to take it. Show us what else we need to see, Spirit. Okay. We got the dead card here. Spirit guy, show us what we need to see tonight. Too many here. Too, too many. When I'm hit the floor, I'm going to grab it, y'all. Show us what we need to see, Spirit. All right, we're going to take the one that's on the floor. All right, all right, all right. Let's get it. Y'all ready? All right, so we got the two of wands here. You are planning, Virgo. What you planning? This new beginning? This new start? You making decisions. You discovering a lot about? Are you traveling? Where you going? You taking a trip? And you are inspired. You know, you you you, you feel like that you're on top of the world. You got this limit, unlimited potential here. Then regarding your feelings, baby, when I tell you you are emotionally balanced, you sitting in your power when it comes to these emotions. Then you are protecting yourself at the moment. You staying inside. You ain't for the streets. That hermit, that's you all day. And guess what? You are celebrating. You feeling the need to celebrate. Virgo, these readings, I mean, I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but 
it's like you want something so much better. You want that unified love. And if this is what you want, it's coming. Okay, regarding some things from the past, uh, some current energy, somebody's not being actually upfront, or some things have not been revealed yet, but it's okay. Because what follows that in clarification is this ten of wands. You are laying your burdens down. You're done. You're laying them down. Because you're ready to celebrate. you like, it's time. Your wish needs to come true. And it's coming. You All you got to do is keep the faith. It is coming. It is on the horizon. Coming to a city near you. Next card we have is the deck card. Guess what? This is transformation time. If it needed to die, guess what? It's going to be a rebirth. And that's what I get excited about. Spirit God, do you have anything else you need to show us tonight? Because we ain't going to be long in this reading tonight. Spirit didn't have much to say. We've been getting confirmation all week long. For the last two weeks, we've been getting confirmation. So it's time. Spirit God, show us what we need to see concerning this current energy that's surrounding us. Is there anything that we need to know, Spirit? Show us. It's balance time. It's balance time. So we balancing that yin and that yang, that masculine and that feminine. We balancing all that. Spirit guys, do you have anything for anything else for us? Let's see. Anything else for us tonight, Spirit? Virgo, we are doing amazing. We are, we are pulling out those shadow parts of ourselves. And we're learning how to embrace and actually do the work. We meditate, man. If y'all meditating, that's like, man, that's the best form of elevation you can ever get is meditating. Like, I mean, it's going to make you feel so balanced. So, so balanced. Let's go ahead and get us a couple from the universe. Has your back. I love this one. Very inspirational cards. We're going to get this and we're going to get us a law of attraction and we're going to get on out of here. Me and my team, we're going out tomorrow. We normally go and we see the less fortunate. And we're going to get out early in the morning. We're going to get that done. It's amazing, man. It's a gift and giving. And I love it. So we're going to get ready. We're going to get ready. We're going to get suited and booted up. And we're going to get out there. And we're going to go ahead and minister to people's souls and their hearts. You know, with the good news that, guess what? God is love. And it's not somebody sitting in the pulpit or somebody that's coming to rescue you. You. You become love and you're going to attract love. The more energy and intention bring to my faith. The more energy and intention bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. That's a beautiful card. When I lead forward toward love, I am led. I just talked about love. Boy, look at here. Let me find out you psychic, girl. Let me find out. Let's do this law of attraction. And we're going to get on out of here. This may be the quickest read we ever did. But guess what? It's Friday night. So I'm thinking about some other things that I wanted to do. Like when I did my Facebook group. It's called Fly Nola Queens Round Table. And we do more than just tarot readings. We do spirituality. We get it in. So I'm thinking about like... Showing y'all how to use some spiritual baths, how to make some spiritual baths, how to use your own, you know, different little things to help you out through the spiritual path and spiritual journey. I mean, show you the uses of things, how you can work with different energies. So we're going we gonna to touch into that. And look, it's all we start off with gratitude and we end with gratitude. I love it. I am grateful for and appreciate all abundance I have in my life today. Definitely grateful. Spirit, guys, is there anything else? Any other law of attraction that we can we can use to carry us through the night, Spirit? Is there anything else? But well, we got a few. We got faith. I have faith that I can manifest the wealth and prosperity that I desire. Yes. And we have generosity. Money is a positive energy and it allows to be it allows me to be generous to others. Yes. 
My intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. I'm declaring and I'm taking. I take all of them. I receive all of them. Yes. All right. I feel like we can get one more. Spirit, is that all right with you? Let's go ahead and get us one more tonight. Let's do the wild offering oracle. And we're going to get on out of here, y'all. Let me see if my light going to work good for me. I hope y'all have good plans for the weekends. If it's just right, that's even better. That's even better if it's just right. That's even better. Spirit, I show us what we need to see. Any closing messages for us tonight, Spirit? Give us a closing message. Show us what we need to see. We'll take those two. It says, make it God's. Release the idea of mine. As soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arise. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. I'm going to replace the law with universe and we're going to say that. Let's go. Self-sufficiency. Okay. The ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave or saying I don't need people. Instead, it's saying God is my source. And I am willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. That's beautiful. I love it. All right, Spirit, we're going to go ahead. If there's not anything else that you want me to give or say, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get out of here tonight. So I thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, and y'all subscribes. Y'all keep on coming back, and I'm going to keep showing up. Let me put the camera up. I'm talking down, and y'all can't even see me. Thank y'all for y'all like, y'all shares, and y'all subscribes. Y'all keep on coming back, and I'm going to keep on showing up. Um, we're gonna try some. We're gonna, you know, it's the round table, so nothing is off the board. We're gonna, we're gonna really get into some things, and we're gonna learn together. It's gonna be very educational on how to tap in. You know, for me, it was just that meditation. Like tomorrow is Saturday. At some point tomorrow, I'm gonna be tapping into that own meditation. Om Shani Chara Yanamaha. Yeah, mess tapping into that Saturn energy, that discipline. Really awesome. Um, but y'all have a great weekend, man. Y'all stay safe. Y'all have fun. Today was my grandfather. He would have been 92 years old today if he would have lived. You know, rest, rest in heaven. Pity, we love you. Um, so y'all have a good night. And, um, let's leave with this, uh, serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Y'all have a good night. Thank y'all for coming back. Love y'all.